A lot of us may have old family films sitting in a box in a closet waiting to be processed or digitized. Precious memories that can't be replaced. So when people from all over the country reached out to contact Denver 7 about their film being held hostage by an Aurora lab, our Jacqueline Allen went to investigate. We have reels and reels and reels. These images are the moments. I'm going to say I was probably nine or ten at the time. The memories. I'm in my 60s now, so it's old stuff. That Gary Irofito can never replace. My father passed away back in 1984. His father loved shooting family films. So when Gary came across a box a few years ago in his Pennsylvania home. And I thought, wow. I have no idea what's on it. Be interesting to see if we could get it developed. He found Rocky Mountain Film Lab in Aurora. Very nice man. Um, said, yep, no problem. They could develop the film. So along with this check for $48, he sent in the film. That was in November of 2017. Probably waited another six or eight months to call. And then I start getting the story. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. You're right in line. Um, we'll have it to you shortly. As I started digging into this more, I'm finding that I'm not the only one. I mean, they're precious memories. Sandra Gruber told our sister station in Indianapolis her memories had been held hostage since 2015. It's in process. It should be any time now. That's the basic message that she keeps giving. So last summer, Denver 7 went undercover into the business, taking pictures of boxes and packages all over. While Sandra eventually got her film back, a Facebook group called Rocky Mountain Film Lab took my money shows many others are still waiting. So Rocky Mountain Film Lab has a pattern of complaint. Yep, all those complaints relate to basically the same issue, which is collecting this film and then not getting it back to consumers. The Better Business Bureau has given the company an F rating and issued an alert after complaints from all over the country. So we went back to the lab. The sign now says it's a cleaning company, but neighbors tell us the film lab is still operating inside. I see a bunch of boxes. We've also been trying to track down the owner. Sorry, that mailbox is full. Stephen Doc isn't answering the phone or the door. Records obtained by Contact Number 7 show he has a long list of judgments, liens, and a bankruptcy. This Florida paper reported a decade ago that Stephen Doc had been taking people's memories and money and not giving them back. I'd like my $48 back, but I really want the film. Gary hasn't given up yet, like so many others now considering legal action. Until then, he's just wondering what memories he and others may never see again. They look like they're still in business. In Aurora for Contact Inver 7, wow. I'm Jacqueline Allen.